free agency is starting soon, and there's an under-the-radar move the Pirates can make to position themselves better in the 2020 season. Last offseason, the Pittsburgh Pirates signed zero major league free agents to a contract. With the way the team is currently structured, it would appear that the only free agents the Pirates would target would be marginal fits in the bullpen or perhaps a bench bat. But gloss over 2019, where the team will look to build upon winning 82 games. Though a bit of luck from Trevor Williams in the latter half of the season helped in doing so, that's a player who has value, likely as a back-end guy, but one who can be upgraded. But with the roster constructed and top pitching prospect Mitch Keller in Indianapolis waiting his turn, Williams isn't the most expendable pitcher right now. That'd be Yvonne Nova. Nova has only a year left on his deal, and he's been a more capable back-end innings eater type starter, but it's only one year. The only real depth comes in the form of Nick Kingham, who has no options, and Mitch Keller. He's expendable in terms of being the most likely to be upgraded upon, but not really expendable given the depth. So keeping him for another go-around makes sense. Assuming Keller gets a full season in Indianapolis, a league in which he tossed 52 uh, in a third innings to a tune of a 4.82 ERA this past season, that puts his timeline as 2020 and sliding into that vacancy that Nova will be leaving. Chad Cool will also be returning from Tommy John surgery, but he has the look, stuff, and control of a multi-inning relief threat compared to a starter, even if Cool remains a starter. That leaves a toss-up between Cool, Keller, and Williams for two spots behind Archer, Tyone, and Musgrove. The level of upside here are different, and Williams has posted seasons of 97.7 and 95.7 DRA in 2017 and 2018. He's been, at the worst, an average starter, and that's valuable. The Pirates, however, can do better in terms of upside for likely minimal risk that would represent a huge upgrade to the rotation. And if that arm is of any concern, a relief option. Garrett Richards, formerly of the Los Angeles Angels, has a career 3.54 ERA and has struck out 23% of hitters over his last 86 starts and 514 in two-thirds innings. He features a power fastball and a power slider. And when healthy, Richards has shown to be an effective pitcher, and that's the catch. Since 2016, Richards has only thrown 138 and two-thirds innings at the major league level, and he won't pitch again until his age 32 season in 2020 after undergoing Tommy John in July. Richards missed torn UCL but didn't get Tommy John and opted for a different recovery method and then missed most of 2017. It's the upside that brings that that he brings that could be worth it for the Pirates. I said last July that the Pirates should sign Michael Pineda after it was announced he needed Tommy John because of the upside he could bring for 2019. The Minnesota Twins signed Pineda five days after they hired Josh Kalk last season from the Rays front office. Kalk was with the Rays when the club did this move with Nathan Avaldi. The Chicago Cubs did something similar with Drew Smiley as well, as this looks to be the next trend in a copycat league. The Pirates would be wise to get in on Richards, given his stuff, and he shouldn't cost much in terms of dollars either. While the potential is there, the injury history should be a concern for multiple teams. Pineda got two years worth $10 million, and Richards has been hurt more than Pineda. The upside doesn't have to just play as a starter, and a move to the bullpen would still allow his stuff to play. Kyle Crick, Keone Kella, and Felipe Vasquez will still be under contract, though Kella and Vasquez seem like safer bets to be holding down a back-end bullpen spot in two years than Crick. That would allow Richards and perhaps Cool to be multi-threats with power stuff. The potential that Richards has, be it as a starter or reliever, with little risk in terms of ca- uh, capital, is why the club should take the flyer. The club paid Sean Rodriguez $5.75 million this past season, and Richards presents more upside than Rodriguez did.